A shot from earlier as the Miami team bus arrived at the arena. Greetings, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for our latest presentation of NBA basketball. Tonight, we'll see the Toronto Raptors as they play against the Miami Heat. Hello, basketball fans. Brian Anderson here, courtside with Doris Burke and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Ali LaForce. Now we get a chance to check some stats for Jakob Pertl. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. So a look at our starters for the Heat. On the wing, it'll be Robinson and Butler. But then it's Kyle Lowry. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Highsmith in at the four. And for Toronto, Barnes and Siakam in at the forward positions. OG Ananobi out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Pirtle in at the five, roaming the paint. Well, we're off to a hot start this year, Doris. Anything surprise you this season? Well, B.A., so often over the course of the summer, we'll see guys post their workout habits. Well, I have been delighted that all of that hard work seems to be paying off. Everybody seems determined to make a splash. And so off the tip, it's Miami. Schroeder against Lowry. Pass to Adebayo. And it's good for two. That's a really solid pass from Jimmy Butler. This guy all about making his teammates better. Siakam, the pass to Schroeder. Down low. And there's Siakam. That one's good. On the assist from Adenobi. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now here's Butler. He played a great game against Indiana. Count it. The moment Bam gets the ball close in, he's really hard to stop. And Schroeder has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Their last game, a win against the Suns. Looking to carry it into this one. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. Well, give them some credit for taking advantage of a weak defense and capitalizing on every mistake. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Lowry finds Butler. Just five on the clock. Tips it, but no good. Now Barnes. Playing Phoenix, he was nearly unstoppable. Here's Siakam. Here's Pirtle. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. This team loves it when Pirtle can make an impact on the offensive glass. There's a lot of ways he can get his points, but this is an easy one. Now here's Butler. He's been an important part of this offense, averaging around 22 points a game. And there's the call on Scotty Barnes. That's his first foul of the game. Here's Lowry. 15 in his last outing. Pass to Adebayo. Six on the shot clock. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. Well, tremendous defense from Dennis Schroeder. He is willing to give extra effort on that end of the floor. And Doris, since winning the title in 2019, the Toronto Raptors have been a little inconsistent as of late. They certainly have, B.A. They've been in and out of the playoffs since then. Certainly, you look at some of the pieces they have, nice pieces. But you've got to have more if you want to compete. Now here's Butler. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Adebayo's got six. The explosiveness off the screen. I mean, Bam so good at knowing where to roll to after setting picks. The three from Barnes. Oh, again, Toronto with a triple. Well, that's not exactly the most solid screen you'll see, but it still works. Pass to Butler. Adebayo against Pirtle. Baseline jumper. Second chance effort. 
Over to the left wing. Back to Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. What a confident dunk by Adebayo. He knows there's little the defense can do once he's elevated. Now here's Siakam. He's closely guarded. Here's Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Lowry against Schroeder. Adebayo is screen on Schroeder. And Adebayo slams it in. <laughs> Look how explosive Bam can be. Defenses can't do anything to stop him on the alley-oop. Pass to Barnes. Back to Siakam. Outside Schroeder. From deep. He can't hit that time. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Lowry with it. And it's Ananobi picking him up for three. Robinson gets the three ball to go. Well, Kyle Lowry has spent his entire career finding open teammates. Timeout called. The Raptors. And some changes here for the Raptors. McDaniels is checked in for Barnes. Trent comes in for Ananobi. And it's Flynn in for Schroeder. Here's Siakam. Coming off a 22-point game against Phoenix. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. Miami trailing. Outside Richardson. Pass to Adebayo. Drops in the layup for two. Adebayo's got 12. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Richardson goes in. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, we call that putting pressure on the defense and forcing the official to make the call. Nicely done, Josh Richardson. First free throw is good. Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. Bryant, he's checked in for Miami. Butler comes in for Highsmith. And so he makes both from the line. 
Well, Grant, when it comes to the Raptors rebounding, it's a tale of two stories. Yeah, B.A., and over the last couple of years, they've been terrific on the offensive boards and absolutely terrible on the defensive boards. It's something they're working to fix this season. Six-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Butler's shot is good. I'll tell you, you better protect the basketball around Jimmy Butler. The anticipation skills, he'll pick it clean from you. Trent against Butler. Now here's Trent. Defense right on him. Five on the clock. Boucher a screen on Butler. Trent from long range. Fires in the triple. It's not just the assertiveness of Gary Trent Jr., folks. It's about the accuracy. I don't care what kind of range he's shooting from. Bam Adebayo has been leading the charge for Miami. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. More 2K action in just a moment. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Heat. Well, hey, guys. I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been? Just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. Setting the floor for Miami. Thomas Bryant out there with Caleb Martin. Then there's Butler. Then there's Josh Richardson. And it's Jaquez in at the three. Achua with a screen on Richardson. Flynn on the attack. Achua for three. And it's Martin with the rebound. The Heat with the lead. Outside Butler. Pass to Bryant. Who poked away. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Barnes. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Miami Heat. On Saturday, they head back home to host the Indiana Pacers. And then on Wednesday, they kick off a road trip in Toronto where they'll take on the Raptors. And looking at the Cavaliers matchup, that's one that could easily go either way. A few mistakes could be the difference. I expect it to be a fun one. Dick, he's checked in for Flynn. Pass to Jaquez. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Richardson. Drives to the hoop. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Well, Doris' teams averaged over 114 points per game last year. The highest league-wide number since the 60s. Why is that? I think several things go into that, B.A., and I'll begin with the skill of these players. Really, the shooting off the dribble, the range shooting have been major factors in picking up the scoring pace, and then the pace of the game as well. Then you look at multi tool big men who can step out and make three-point shots. As always, several factors contribute to the higher score. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half play. Here's Trent, and the shot goes down. Trent's got five points. How about the floater? Folks, a floater's a tough shot, but Gary Trent Jr. makes easy work of it right there. Richardson finds Martin. To the paint. Achua with a steal. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. The Heat always focused on the big prize. Coach Spolster said, quote, winning a championship can be done in a lot of different ways. The game is played on both sides of the floor with IQ and with toughness, making plays in those winning moments. It's not necessarily what everybody thinks it is. Brian? Oh, he would know, Allie. Thank you. And stolen by Boucher. Trent, the pass to Dick from outside the arc. And Brian pulls it down. 
Well, the Heat's shooting has been unreal. 64% from the floor. Back in 2017, two-way contracts started in the NBA. Created more opportunities, Grant. The B.A. Chris Boucher signing one of the first two ways back in 2017. I mean, he was a huge success story for this system. Chris signing a big contract during the 2022 free agency period. Here's Dick. Butler covering. Dick, the pass to Achua. Achua with a screen on Richardson. Back to Achua. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Raptors. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. And grant the resiliency and determination of the Heat not to be underestimated. Well, B.A., last season became just the second eighth seed in NBA history to advance to the finals. And Jimmy Butler said it. We don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. We never will. Barnes feeling it out a bit. Pass to Schroeder. And it's Miami with a rebound. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. And you know they had a great plan going into that one. And then made the right adjustments along the way. I thought their game plan was really spot on. And we saw that in their scoring more than anything else. Got a piece of it. Butler against Barnes. Here's Highsmith. Toronto grabs the miss. Hurdle's got his fifth rebound in this one. Lowry against Schroeder. Uses the glass on the layup. Schroeder's got his first two points of the night. And for a guy who's a little bit smaller at the guard position, Schroeder is fearless. I think he likes contact. Bryant outside. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. After the franchise's first title in 2019, the Raptors trying to find their way back to contention doors. They are, B.A., and you have an interesting mix of young talent and veteran players left over from that championship roster. They've remained competitive, but the goal for an organization that's won a championship is to get back to the promised land, and there's a ways to go yet for that. Siakam, he's checked in for Toronto. Trent comes in for Barnes. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. You take a look at the Heat, they're in sixth place, but still time to make a move in the standings. And of course, there's the Raptors. Currently, they're five spots behind them. Well, I think for Miami, they've stayed within arm's length of the conference leaders. That in itself is an accomplishment at this point in the season. Yeah, even so, though, I'm sure they're not satisfied just being near the top of the standings. They're going to be looking to make a major push as the season winds down. Six to shoot. Pass to Highsmith. Here's Hawkes. Sinks the tray. 
Haquez has got his first three points of the game. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Outside Ananobi. Back to Siakam. Outside Ananobi. Siakam left side. With the floater. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Lowry to pass to Adebayo. There's 39 seconds left in the second period. Using his post moves to get the two points. Adebayo's got 14 points for the game. And just an effective offensive talent. Autobio plays so hard, and that's really what drives his game. It's good. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. And it's Lowry with the ball for Miami. This game against Toronto here. It's their first look at the Raptors. They'll be looking for payback after grabbing the short straw in the season series last year. And there's the lob. And finished off by Autobio. And this is why Kyle Lowry is always mentioned among the league's elite point guards. He can do it all. Score, defend, or create like a teammate, as he does there. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Raptors out in front, leading by three. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Coach, it's been a hard-fought game. A lot of hustle plays. What gets you over the hump in the second half? Well, we just have to keep on grinding. That's what this kind of game is like. Uh, you know, in many ways, it feels like a playoff game. But those plays right there, ball in the air, ball on the floor, we got we to gotta make sure we're dominating those areas uh, and then make some plays. We'd love to see playoff intensity there in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Welcome, everybody. It may be early on in the season, but not too early to take a full assessment of the Eastern Conference standings. Taking a look at the Raptors, they didn't get the email I sent. Season has started, fellas. They look surprised they're getting whoopings. High hopes does not win games. They got to wake up, get it together. Good news, still time. And as we recap this first half of play, it's been Spicy P. Pascal Siakam bringing the heat early. Unreal discipline at the offensive end. He can quickly assess what the defense is trying to take away and then make a move to counter. It's been a calculated effort, no doubt, and with great results, shooting over 60% in that first half. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. It's been a clinic out there by Bam Adebayo. 
The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. Toronto has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Siakam is the four with Pirtle in the middle. Dennis Schroeder is out there with OG Ananobi. And it's Barnes in at the three. That's the group starting the second half for Darko Rayakovic. Miami trailing. Outside Butler. Adebayo a screen on Ananobi. Pass to Highsmith. Here's Adebayo covered by Pirtle. Adebayo, that's good. Adebayo's got 18. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Outside Ananobi. Shot clock at six. Into the lane. We've seen our fair share of NBA players from the UK. Is Ananobi the most successful, you think? Well, B.A., how about this? I mean, he's the first player from the United Kingdom to win an NBA championship. Back in 2019, he was part of that Raptors uh, championship. And think about this. He has now turned himself into that coveted, elite defensive player on the wing so needed in today's NBA. Free throws good from Ananobi. Boy, the athleticism of OG Ananobi can be eye-popping sometimes, guys. And what's happening now is he's developing on the offensive end. This guy's upside is absolutely tremendous. No good on the second free throw. And for Miami, they're shooting 64% for the game. Amazing. It's stolen by Pirtle. Right side, Barnes. Knocked loose. Ananobi for three. Trains the triple. Ananobi's got four this quarter. OG Ananobi increasingly dangerous with his jumper. Nice catch and shoot opportunity there. Lowry finds Butler. To the middle. Here's Adebayo. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler's got four assists in the game. They have no answer defensively inside. Outside Barnes. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Tough one. In a game where every possession is valuable, turnovers can make the difference. And so Adebayo will bring it up for the Heat. Butler passes to Robinson. Adebayo in the post. He's working on Pirtle. Outside Butler. He's too much close to the rim. Wow, what a start to this half. Three for three, dictating the pace on the offensive end. They're rolling early. Siakam, left side. The ball's knocked loose. Here's Ananobi. Miami grabs the miss. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. Lowry finds Adebayo. Robinson with it. And it's Ananobi picking him up. Here's Butler. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Their first missed after hitting three straight shots. But I like their aggressiveness coming out of the half. Outside Barnes. Siakam, the pass to Schroeder. Up and over Lowry. And the Raptors miss again. And that's where you want to make the next pass. This guy is a good scorer, but the defense was right on him. Pass to Butler. Butler. 
to the inside. Adebayo. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Adebayo's got six points in the quarter. Here's Siakam. 11 points in the game. To stop the drought. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Gary Trent Jr., he's checked in for Toronto. The free throw off for Siakam. One of the things that we're watching happen with Pascal Siakam is the willingness to accept more and more responsibility, both from a leadership and a productivity standpoint, guys. And it has been something else to watch that growth. Lowry, the pass to Highsmith. For three, Robinson. Pirtle grabs a miss. pirtle has got seven rebounds in the game. Siakam for three. Adebayo grabs the board. The Heat have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Lowry. Adebayo a screen on Schroeder. Here's Lowry. Good on the 13-footer. Lowry's got his first two points. Well, this is something we've seen over and over and over again with Kyle Lowry. Go ahead, make a contested J. And an Obi finds Siakam. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. Here in the second half, this game still nip and tuck. <laughs> Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Hurdle with some nice D. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Ananobi against Lowry. Pass to Robinson. Adebayo in the post. Covered by Pirtle. Basket's good. Adebayo's got 24 points. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. Two-second difference between shot and game clock. Schroeder against Lowry. Down low. Fades and shoots. Siakam, no good. Good shot, gone bad. You gotta finish there. Well, there's just defensive chops by OG Ananobi. He says, I've got length, athletic ability, and a willingness to contest. Bam Adebayo has been leading the charge for the Heat. He's been lighting it up tonight. 24 points. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. You know a thing or two about a point guard's job. Set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. On the floor for Miami starting the fourth quarter. Josh Richardson out there with Butler. Then it's Thomas Bryant. Then there's Caleb Martin. And it's Jaquez in at the three. Butler passes to Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. This continues to be a battle. The lead is within reach. Yeah, but that's been elusive. They've missed a few plays along the way that they'd love to have back. And here's Trent. Here's Barnes. No good off the back of the rim. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. 
Now here's Butler. He's covered closely. Pass to Bryant. And he can't get that one. Toronto trailing. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Barnes. It's good. You love how Scotty Barnes embraces the challenge of a contested shot. Don't back down, Scotty. Outside Butler. Launches a three. Boom! Three for Jimmy. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Achua with a screen. From the left block. Barnes. It's good. Barnes has got four points in the quarter. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. And then Bryant with the dunk. Oh, you love it when Thomas Bryant tries to finish with power. Forget about try. He does it. What a pretty dunk. Left side Barnes. Shoots a fadeaway. That one rolls around and rims out. Boy, he's definitely covered well there. And hey, we know he can knock down the fadeaway shot. Just didn't fall there. Bryant, no good. And so Trent will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. And at home for the next game, it'll be New York pulling in to face them. And they'll be reaching the back half of a four-game home stretch. Well, Gary time Trent time. Jr. is accustomed to dealing with aggressive defense. Pardon? That's the level of scorer he is. But in the interior there, I'll tell you, draws the contact nicely. Toronto calls timeout. And this short amount of time should be beneficial to these players to catch their breath a little bit, while at the same time replenishing their energy by drinking some Gatorade as we head into the final stretch of this game. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Darko Ryakovic said to the team. And Coach challenged the team, asking them to bring the fight inside, telling them to play with pride, telling the team, you're getting bullied near the hoop. Let's see if it works, guys. Good job there, Ali. Thanks. That's good from Trent. Gary Trent Jr. to me, guys, the very definition of a true shooter. He believes it's a natural talent, but he also works to develop himself into a reliable and efficient shooter. Trent hits them both. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. Active defense from Jakob Pirtle. That's the key. When he stays active and alert, blocks are going to be there for him. Outside Barnes. Inside. Siakam. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got a six rebound on the night. Butler against Barnes. Pass to Adebayo. Lowry outside. Adebayo a screen on Schroeder. 
Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. Well, I think with his ability to shoot off the dribble, the defense has got to understand how to play Kyle Lowry. He loves these opportunities, and so many of his assists come off these pick and rolls. Siakam for three. And it's Miami with a rebound. Adebayo's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Robinson on the wing, guarded by Trent. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And Anobi, he's checked in for Trent. Toronto has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. And Toronto calls time here. There's just a lot of wide-open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Hurdle with a screen on Martin. Siakam in the post. He's against Martin. Now Siakam relishes the opportunity to deliver. That's a big time basket. And so it's Butler who brings up the ball for the Miami Heat. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. Adebayo sets a screen. Martin outside. Pass to Adebayo. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Adebayo's got six in the quarter. A tireless worker at both ends. Adebayo imposing his will that time on the offensive glass. Here's Siakam. That one falls, coming off Schroeder's feed. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. Lowry outside. Adebayo a screen on Schroeder. Here's Lowry. Adebayo, that's good. Adebayo's got 32 points in the game. Give Adebayo all the credit. The D was there, but he was just determined to score. Hurdle with a screen on Martin. Shot on the wing. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. How about they look to hurdle in a critical stretch and he comes through. The pressure bringing out his best. Butler passes to Martin. Butler surveying the floor. Rejected by Barnes. Send it back, Scotty Barnes. Show off that defensive acumen. There's 49 seconds left in the game. Important possession here. Yeah, we'll see how they execute under pressure. And an 
Shinobi passes to Siakam. And it's Siakam again missing. And now we've got an intentional foul. Here's Butler. And he commits the intentional foul. the first and that puts him up five boy at his best Jimmy Butler is a versatile scorer inside and outside but what I will most remember him for his competitive toughness so he gets them both and it's a six-point ball game well we know this free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game this guy keeps his composure and comes through now a timeout called by Toronto they're down by six 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter Twenty nine seconds left in the final quarter. And it's in. And now they trail by just four. Wow, a huge play from Dennis Schroeder. You love the focus. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Yeah, no, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that puts him up five. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. And so it's Siakam with it. He brings it up for the Raptors. You know, we talk about length defensively. Siakam so long offensively, trying to get a challenge on him. You are often going to put him at the line. Drops the first one, and that brings him within five. Oh, 
Siakam hits them both. Well, big trip here for Pascal Siakam, right? And if you're going to be the star, these are the pressure moments you've got to handle. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. Shooting two. Good on the first, and that puts him up five. Boy, Kyle Lowry, you can't help but notice the frame, right? He is a bit undersized, and yet here is a guy who has been a consistent two-way force in the NBA, has truly had a remarkably consistent career. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Pass to Ananobi. Three-pointer. Oh, gets the three to fall. Don't lose track of OG Ananobi. He's put in real time to make that jumper legit. Time called here. The Heat decide to talk it over. They're ahead by three. Seven seconds left in the game. Here are the Heat now. It's a three-point game. And now they foul and stop the clock. He hits the first one. And that gives him a four-point cushion. Hey, never one to shy away from the pressure. Jimmy with a huge opportunity at the line. And so both free throws good. And it's a five-point game. Well, this trip to the line should seal the deal. Amazing job. And an OB on the wing. It's good. And give the assist to Siakam. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over.
So it's the Heat taking the W in a close one. And this was an emotional win for them. No doubt about it. <laughs> just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? All right, Jimmy, as you prepared for this one, what was the focus? Uh, just how hard we had to play, home or away. I think we did that. We stayed together um, through their runs, through our runs, and um, that was quality, and that's getting us done. Four great quarters of work. Congrats on the win. Allie, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, Bam Adebayo.